Welcome back, guys, to Animal Crossing New Horizons, Day 5. Happy Home Academy, I guess so they do this daily. Avery, congratulations to celebrate the new addition to your home. Please accept the small gift. You need convenient electronic appliances for your upgraded home. Happy Home Academy. Maybe they do this daily? I don't I don't think they do. I it's it's been such a while since I played New Leaf. I don't think they did it daily. Wait, maybe they did I don't remember. Anyway, present. Open. Ironing set. Let's also check because uh, we have a museum to go check out, renovated house, and a shop to go check out. Oh, okay. So it just expanded. That that was it. So, okay. I'll take it. It's uh. Well, it's a lot bigger than the one before. So I can put more furniture in, of course. I just need better furniture, That that's the thing. I just, no more with the sleeping bag. I need to put a switch on a table and not a cardboard. I need to put the coffee on the table and I can probably get rid of this ice cream cone. All right, let's do it. That's also gotta go on a table too. So yay! Gotta buy like two different tables and like I don't know. Just so much so much things I gotta get. My flowers look phenomenal. They look beautiful. And let's head to the mu new museum. This looks really small compared to the past Animal Crossing games. Just by like looking at it, because like the past Animal Crossing games, the museum was I mean, it wasn't huge, but it was bigger than what we have here. So here's the thing about the museum for Animal Crossing New Horizons. There's bugs, fossils, and fish. That's it. There's no more of the famous paintings and like there was in Wild World. So I don't even know if Crazy Red is in this game. There's no coffee. Or no, no coffee. No cafe to go to like there was and all the past Animal Crossing games. So who knows if Brewster is still in this game? I'm hoping that he is, but who knows? I think the only bug that I have is a tarantula and I wonder where he is at. Like what exhibit? Oh, this is nice. This is, yeah, this is really nice. We humbly ask for your donations to add to our displays. Oh wait, hang on, okay. Maybe, maybe there is a painting section. Wait, what, yeah, what is this? What? What, what is this? And of course this is the, yeah, this is for fish? Yep. Oh, no, 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 it's for bugs. So I'm assuming the tarantula is in here somewhere. Maybe. Wharf roach, hermit crab. Oh, these displays are really nice. I would assume the tarantula would be in here. Huh, maybe not. I know it's not, it's not in there. I love how there's a little scientific room like little prep lab area. I, a lab area, scientific room. Gosh dang it, Avery. You can tell it's somewhat in the early in the morning or I just woken up, to be honest, when I'm saying, oh, there's a nice lab, uh, scientific room, laboratory. Yeah, I wonder where our tarantula is at. No way this thing's running around. There's no way. So I'm assuming there could also be fish in here, but call me crazy about that. I will say though, the insect exhibit, this looks really, really peaceful. Like extremely peaceful. Okay. Where did he put, where, hmm. 
Oh, it is in here. Okay, cool. Where is it though? Oh, I see it. It's back there. I see it. All right, cool. Well, that mystery was solved because I overpassed it and I kept saying to myself, no, it's not in there. Let's head over, <laughs> excuse me, to the, let's head over to the fish exhibit. I still want to know what is in the corner of that room. And no, I don't really want to look up like a guide or anything like that because that's not fun. That's really not fun. But I don't think it's paintings because then I would believe it would have its own section. Like its own small section of the museum and it would like have a picture of a painting or something. So yeah, fish, it's only a select few since I don't really have that much just yet. Oh, this is cool. This room is awesome. I'm assuming like this is just for a deep fish, like deep fish, deep sea fish. Hmm. I wonder what they're gonna put here. Yeah, there's a lot of things to this muse <laughs> museum that I'm kind of wondering about. Excuse me. Cool. I like it. Yeah, I really like how this museum looks. It looks really, it looks really, really cool. Holy cow. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Whoa, that is sweet. Oh my gosh. Why can't other aquariums be designed like this that is awesome like i'm talking about real life aquariums not video game aquariums that is amazing and of course it's daytime so but blathers is asleep because he's an owl and owls tend to sleep during the daytime <coughs> excuse me so yeah and this is the fossil exhibit i'm assuming those are eggs like places to put like eggs that are made of or amber or something like that. So yeah. This is the part of the museum that I'm like, okay, cool. It'll probably look better once the fossils are all put together. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just wondering how detailed are they going to be? Because it looks really, really well detailed. And then um, up here, yeah, there'll be something more to this later on up here. I just don't know when we will get access to it. But yeah, I don't know why they also put it in the museum, that, kind of, that up there. It's with the Amiibos, or even with the Amiibo cards as well, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, that's pretty much the museum. Let's not bother Blathers just yet because I can get more fossils and probably even bugs for today so then I can bar borrow, bother him later. So let's head... Let's head over to the new shop, by the way. Oh, yes, butterfly. Nope, wrong button. Cool, yes. I call it common butterfly. They often flutter by. <sighs> Ooh, yes, more. Wait, where'd he go? So I was looking down the map and I didn't see where it went. Yes, I caught a tiger butterfly. I've earned my stripes. Um, okay, cool. Oh, nice. Billy the goat now has a house. Cool. I mean, it looks kind of like a shed, but you know, it's better than a tent. 
Does Agnes have a house or? Nice, yeah, cool. When the heck did they get houses? What? Nope. Nope. Got it, there we go. Okay, cool. Um. Yeah, let's go inside Agnes's house. Let's go see what she has to say. Yo, Snuffle, thanks for stopping by. What's the latest? Oh, hey, big news. I have officially moved on from tent life. I got a house, Snuffle. I mean, tents are cool and all, but I can fit way more stuff in a house. Plus, now it finally feels like I can actually live here instead of just roughing, out, roughing it. Cool. You just got to get <laughs> a bed. All right, now let's go check on Billy. Let me capture another yellow butterfly really quick. I didn't read the uh, punchline. I caught a yellow butterfly. Shouldn't it all butterflies be yellow? <laughs> Woo, man. No, into the door. All right, I want to see what Billy's house looks like. The, ooh, okay, I like this. They gotta get beds. Get rid of the, the sleeping bags. What's up? You caught me at the end of my mid to late day home strength routine, Dane Nabbit. Let's talk. Guess what? I finally own something that even I have trouble lifting. Yep, a, I have a house now, Dane Nabbit. It's got walls, a floor, even a ceiling. I can finally do jumping jacks without ripping a hole in, in my home. Cool. Awesome. Both of our neighbors have houses, so that's good. Making some progress here to the life on on it. So yeah. Anyway, um It looks so much more beautiful in the daytime than it does at night. I need to probably start recording sooner rather than later. Cause yeah, this looks beautiful. Nice, pleasant skies. Um, I'm just looking for spots to dig up, like right here, and then we'll head over to the store. Thousand bells. Nice. I don't think it's ever going to get higher than that. I think it's always going to be a thousand, which, I mean, I, I'm not going to complain. And, ooh, ooh. Okay, good. Sahara is in the game. Sahara, hello, you are, I don't know why I said it like that, Sahara, hello, you're calling me Sahara, for it is the name I have carried for as long as I have carried these rugs, oh, oh, okay, I bring these rugs from my home, which is far to help you decorate your home, which is near, I have small rugs, large rugs, and rugs in the medium space between, the design is seen after the buying, I have also mysterious flooring and wallpaper, oh, how surprising you will find it, are you ready to buy? Huh. Where should I get a rug? So here's the thing about Animal Crossing New Horizons. You can now buy rugs instead of like the whole flooring. So there's one part of my house, for example, I want to decorate like as a rug and not a floor, like the whole flooring. I can do that. Um, let me take a rug then. Yes, a rug for your purchasing. What size shall the rug of yours? Small rug is a thousand, medium is 1500, and large is 2000. Yes. Let's go for a large rug. And here's the thing with Sahara, when it comes to rugs, wallpaper, or even flooring, we don't know what we're getting. So it's kind of a it's kind of a gamble. And I think you can only buy one of these a day as when she's here. So I may be wrong about that, but I think that's the case. Sorry, I was about to cough. You will like the rug. I will like the money. All will be happy and well. I have exchanged tickets as bonus for good soul who buys good rugs. If you save up, save up five tickets, you can trade for mysterious wallpaper or mysterious flooring. You bought large rugs, so that means three tickets are yours now. Cool, that's definitely going right into storage. I hope you will buy again. May the tickets tempt you. Maybe we can buy again? I, I, I have no idea. Anyway, back to uh, looking around for spots to dig up. It looks like it's all clear over here. I didn't really look past my house up here. Ooh. 
I'm convinced they got rid of the pitfall seed, unfortunately, which that would be yeah, that would be unfortunate. I, hopefully they don't. Like that's an iconic Animal Crossing item. Let's look up here really quick before I head into the shop. Nope. Alrighty. Let's head right. Let's head to the store. Um, I want to check out the shop. I don't think it's different from past Animal Crossing games and the second shop. I'm kind of hoping I'm wrong. Hope, even if it's like the smallest changes of like the setup or anything like that. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Nope. Let's dig this up right here. Yeah, another fossil. All right. Kind of, yeah. Kind of disappointing a little bit. Nook's cr oh, okay, so it's the it's Nook's Cranny. It's not the second shop, it's the first. Mabel. Yes! Yes! I was worried when I heard you were all moving to a deserted island, but this is much nicer than I imagined. It's so nice, so nice. Even though we haven't been here all that long. In just a short time, Blathers has moved in and, and we were able to open up the shop. Experiencing new things every day has been a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I'm so pleased to hear that. Actually, I came here today to check in on you all and see if you need any assistance with anything. It's our way of celebrating your new shop. You know, we sisters like to help wherever we can. Excuse me. Any island ideas come to mind? You're too kind, Mabel. We're just overwhelmed that you even thought to come visit us. Visit us. Oh, hey, I think... Something come to mind? Well, we still have some logistical challenges to overcome. We depend on mail orders for a lot of our goods. Having the shop should make it a bit easier for us to obtain ready-made furniture and stuff like that, but we still need a clothing supplier. Aha! Something tells me that today is your lucky day. As it turns out, it's really not that difficult for us to get to this island. How about if I stop by every so often to sell some of our wares to your wonderful island dwellers? Oh, wow. Do you really mean that? Or, or, hear me now this one, uh, uh, Mabel. You guys could make a s store on the island. Our residents will be so overjoyed. So overjoyed. Of course, silly. If we can sell our goods here, it's a win-win situation for everyone. I suppose with that said, I should head home and work out the details with my sister. Yes, please do that. Do that. We can't wait to see you here again. Bye, Mabel. Please make, a sh ma please make the Able sisters here. Oh, Avery. Sorry to keep you waiting. Waiting. Thank you to... Oh, thanks to your help, we've opened this amazing new shop. New shop. Our shop is named in honor of a shop our beloved President Nook used to run. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. As you can see, we're offering ready-made furniture and items that can't be made as DIY projects. Also, in the back cabinet with the tools and other miscellaneous goods, we have wallpapers and flooring. Oh, wow. Yeah, they really did change this up. I'm really happy about that. We hope to fulfill your all your shopping needs. Shopping needs. Cool, so I'm assuming this is just paper. Or, okay, no, document stack. Ah, <sighs> yeah, no. I'll pass. Understood. Please let me know if you need anything else. Else. <laughs> so that's a new item. Seems like you're interested in cordless phone. 1600 bells. Man, that's like out of, completely out of style. And this is just a table. And outdoor, oh no, outdoor bench. That's a bench? No, I'm good. Ah, uh, here we are. The next item, toilet paper. We all know that's going to be a hot item. Especially with what's going on right now. Yeah, I'll pass. I don't think I buy, yeah, I can't buy anything regardless. This is awesome though. Curious about what's in the cabinet? Here's what we have today. Today. All right, so they still sell like umbrellas, party poppers, medicine, uh, plants, wrapping paper, what? Whoa, that's crazy. Oh, cool. 
brown diner wall. I actually like that, but I don't like the price. All right, I'll come back later. I'll be here if you need anything else. Thanks, Tommy. I love how they both follow you around. Thank you, thank you. Because uh, before, Tommy would kind of sit in the corner. Okay, so we have renovated house, museum, and the Nook's Cranny store. Fantastic. All this is wonderful. Let's head... Uh, no, wrong item. Let's head back to the museum to donate some of the bugs we have and have blathers assist and, of course, donate the fossils that we have as well. Alrighty. Who? Whoop. Who? Who? I beg your pardon. I'm a bit of a night owl, don't you know? Don't you know? Drowsy in the daytime. Ah, uh, but more importantly, who who? If it isn't Avery, the Onnit Museum has opened its doors. You see, it's a tremendous achievement. I confess, my feathers are puffed with pride. Of course, it was your very own donations that made it possible. So to you, I say, thank you. Now, allow me to give you a quick overview of our fine institution's floor plan. You find there are, in there are entrances to the left, to the right, and into the basement. I kind of did this already. Each one of these two exhibit rooms wherein the donations collected thus far have been put on display. Ah, that's right. I have more good news to report. That is, the donation process has been streamlined. Henceforth, we will accept multiple donations all at once. Yes. Oh my gosh, thank you. Furthermore, if you wish to learn more about a fossil or fish, or bug, I suppose, that, <laughs> that's funny. Simply say, tell me about this. Hoots, hesitate not, I will happily oblige. Now, by all means, do please take a gander at our magnificent collection. It is surely a thing of wonder. <laughs> I'm just so happy that we can, uh, we don't have to hear every single bit of detail. I guess that makes sense, but I'm also sitting here just being like, why did the why wait until now? Alright, cool. So none of the fossils appeared in the collection. So uh yes. Let's yeah, let's let's do this. Uh, okay, cool. Let's make a donation. So we should be able to Yes, there we go. We get to donate all at once, so I'm really happy about, happy about that. The yellow butter butterfly I don't need to worry about. Alright, cool. Woohoo, several things I see. Let's take a look, shall we? Splendid, we will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, no need to pull them out all out. I'll handle the rest from here. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nope, I'm good. Cool, so... Yeah, quality of life. It's still here, thank gosh. Alrighty, cool. Um, let's see what else that gets me. Okay. Fossil assessment. Yes, yes, you, you're getting Nook Miles based on the number of fossils you've had assessed. Dig up as many as you can and find out what they are. Dang. So I love how it goes from 5 all the way up to 30. Dream house. A home that you build yourself gives you a greater livability. It's on a whole other level. I'll give you Nook Miles to those who build or expand their home to taste the good life. Now we're talking thousand nook miles. Let's go. You are aware that furniture and clothing you buy is added to your nook shopping catalog, yes? Were you also aware that you can earn miles for a large catalog? Well, you certainly aren't aware now. Okay. Do I have to buy things, I'm assuming? Cool. Um, yeah. All right, cool. And Blathers just went right back to sleep. Let's go head. Let's head over to Tom Nook to go talk to him. Let me also switch over to my fishing rod because I think I'm gonna go fishing for a little bit. So yeah. How much do I owe him? Well, hello there, Avery. Your home is much roomier, yes? It's nice to have even a little extra space, which brings us to... The cost of your remodel, that'll be 198,000 bells, hmm? Ah, uh, yes, please make your payments using the Nook Stops APD feature as you've done before. As always, it's been ever so nice doing business with you. Yes, yes. 
Ah, Avery, good to see you. Hold the phone. Someone's calling. Hello. Okay, another thing too. I can definitely tell that they took inspiration from Apple because the camera and the like the leaf, the Animal Crossing main icon is lined up pretty much identical to an iPhone. And that's a it's surprising, but it's not surprising because of course with Mario being on iPhone, I think Nintendo and Apple have created a great relationship. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I, I don't know. It's just, it's just weird to me. It's like getting close to Uncanny Valley a little bit. Hello, you've reached Nook Inc. Oh, you saw our ad? I see. Hmm. Yes, of course. Don't worry about a thing. We can set up your gate getaway package to include a lovely furnished home. What? What? No. Uh huh. Oh, not at all. We'll set up your moving date at a later time. No, no, no trouble at all. I just need to draw up the proper contracts. Understood. We will get back to you very soon. Thank you. Avery, sorry to keep you waiting. I suppose you overheard that call I just got. For some time now, I've been advertising the Onnit getaway package. And what do you know? Out of the blue, we have three interested parties. What? Wait, three? I was gonna say, how many times did I go to the island to tell people to move into on it? Yes, yes, it's quite wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Er, wonderful, except for one minor little detail. Is our island big enough? Probably not. None of our applicants are too fond of the notion of sleeping in tents, you see? I'm afraid I got caught up in the excitement of persuading them to move here, and I may have promised them fully furnished homes. Hey, Tom, that's on you, dude. I can't pull you out of this. Three homes, setting aside the land, preparing all the furnishings. It's just too much for one raccoon. But, Avery, here you are, in my hour of need, it most certainly must be fate. Yeah, how about you, uh, instead of 198,000 bells, you take that down to like 100,000. Would you help me get these homes prepared, all three of them? Of course, I will have to give you a good and proper thank you for your assistance. <sighs> of course. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll never forget this. Oh, you're going to need some top secret instructions. When you're ready, come talk to me. Use the phrase, what should I do? Agent Nook out. Oh, this is so, this is fun. <sighs> what would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. What should I do? Oh, so you're, you're all ready, ready to help me prepare. Here's what I'm thinking. We really should start by building a bridge across the river somewhere. Yes, thank you. I'm so glad that this is actually happening now rather than later. I was afraid that this was going to happen later. With three homes to build, I worry that we'll run out of space on land that is easily accessible. A bridge will open things up <coughs> a bit, excuse me, and make it easier to get to housing plots during construction. Hmm? So that's why I like you to start by crafting the parts for a bridge base. Get your DIY skills ready. And then you'll want to decide on a prime location for the bridge too. And done. I've just sent you a recipe for a bridge construction kit. You can find it on your Nook phone. Once you've assembled your bridge construction kit, find a good spot for a bridge and then check in with me. It can be a little tricky to place a bridge, but we can talk if you have trouble or need some advice. Good luck, Avery. Okay, so what do we need? Oh, that's it? Oh, okay, cool. I thought we were making a stone bridge, but I guess we got to start somewhere and it's going to be the log type of bamboo type of bridge, I should say. Uh, okay, so log stakes. Do we have... Oh yeah, we still need to craft an ocarina. We need wood. Okay, so... Cool. In the meantime, let's craft our ocarina. Since... Yeah, it's an ocarina. Ocarinas are cool. I made an ocarina. All done for now. <sighs> okay, so let me go outside and let me use the ocarina. In the meantime as well, we're also gonna try to get more wood. We gotta chop down some trees. 
part, we have to not chop them down, but cut into the wood. Okay, so pressing the A button is like a brand new note. So I can hold it or I can rapidly press A. I bet you people who are like just musically talented could easily make a Legend of Zelda or play a Legend of Zelda song. All right, um, I just think we need wood, but for the log stakes. Oh, no, yikes, sorry, wrong type of tree. Uh, yep, right here. Yeah, I, I should have probably got a better look at what kind of wood we need, but you know, let's just grab them all, why not? Let me also run home as well. Oh no, it's the end of the line for my trusty flimsy axe. Let me also run home to see if we have any supplies that we can use so we're not wasting as much time doing this and we could be doing something else. Oh, whoa, yeah, let me move to pockets. Let me, yeah. I completely forgot that I had those. And then let's check out this rug that we got. Yellow Argyle rug spread out. I love it. Let me kind of put it in the middle if I can. All right, now, now we, this feels like home. <clears throat> yeah, it's whatever. That's cool. I like it. The, the rugs are a great addition to this game. Now I didn't play Happy Home Designer, so I don't know if they were actually in that game. I couldn't tell you to be honest. Let me, let's head over back over to Tom Nook to make these log stakes and to get a bridge set up. And then we'll deliver the rest of the fish and the bugs to Blathers after. I just really want to get this set up. All right, let's, we got to craft log stakes. How many do we need? We need four, so yeah, this should be enough. I wish we can just say like, oh, hey, you can craft like three. No, we can't do that, okay. And so being like, yeah, you made this. You want to keep crafting? Oh, it's the exact same thing. It's like, yeah, I, I know that. All right. Um, and then yeah, this should be the last time. All right. And all done for now. Excuse me. Oh wait, no, no. Sorry, I should should have kept crafting. Because we have to. Bridge construction kit. Cool. Alright, let's do it. I made a bridge construction kit. All done for now. Cool. So. Um. Okay. I'm so glad to have you helping the building a bridge for our island with your bridge construction kit on hand, go to the spot where you'll set the bridge and then set the bridge. Since you're here, would you like to some advice on setting up bridges? Might as well. 
Of course. Allow me to begin with the basics of the bridge placement. Now, your bridge construction kit will require the same amount of space it takes to set up a tent. However, we're spending the water here, so pick a spot on a river, some ideal place for a crossing. Now, if the river is too wide or too narrow or has an odd angle, we can't do construction in those conditions. Don't despair, though. Soon, we'll be putting up bridges, replacing them, moving them, whatever, whenever. For now, just pick a spot that seems relatively convenient for everyone. I know you'll find the right place. So, here's the issue that we have with this island, well, like, our island, is that it's broken off into three different sections. Now, the store is over here, so it would make the most sense to put a bridge right here. Because the store is right here, and we need to make it convenient for all of the villagers at hand. So... We're gonna build it here. Should I reserve the spot for a log bridge? Let me imagine it. I don't want, I'm hoping that the tree is still here. Yes, it is. Oh, thank gosh. Is this a good spot? Okay. I picked a spot for a bridge. Let the land connect. And I'm assuming it's gonna take one day for this bridge to be built. Just assuming. Ah, Avery, hello, hello. So, did you find a good place to deploy your bridge construction? I set it up. Splendid, excellent work, thank you. Then tomorrow we'll have a new bridge up and it'll, it'll be even easier to get around the island. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to start on some homes. We can wait for bridge construction to finish what you want, or just ask me what should I do, whatever, hmm? Okay, um, yeah, let's, what should I do? Avery, the bridge won't be ready until tomorrow, but you want to start on the homes now? Please take these three housing kits. With the housing kits I just gave you, you'll pick out plots for three homes. Then of course, these homes will need furniture and such. Each housing kit comes with a list of the furniture required for its house. So be sure to read those lists. You can build everything DIY style. So let me just send you the recipes you'll need. I think that's all from me. Thanks for all your help. All right, let's check out this DI, DIY recipes really quick. Oh my gosh. Wood block stereo, wooden block stereo? What? I want that. I want that for my home, not for all these people's home. Are well, these animals, is animals home? So it's all this and upwards. Oh, dude. Wait, is this ladder like for... Is it a tool or is it an item? Yes. This is very important, the ladder is. Because it means we can head up to the cliffs of the island. Which will give us more... It will give us more uh, ways to explore this island. And also probably even start putting other types of houses that up there. Because I think I'm going to keep the shops in the central. Um, central. And like kind of the middle area like right here. Kind of with uh, Nook and Cranny. Just so you know there's one central location for shops. Homes. It could be left. Down where like my house is at and up on the cliff. That's what I kind of plan on doing. And I, I actually like that idea that I'm going for. I I kind of want to focus on that. So let me grab the rest of these fossils and let's kind of look for some uh, areas to maybe get some ideas for houses. I wish I could move my house and put it here. I, I kind of like this open area right here. I wonder if that will be an option down the road. No, in my luck, it won't, so. Um. Can we put a house here? Let me see. Plot one housing kit. I'm too close to the water. I need more room. Okay, how about now? Should I set this 
area aside as plot one. Let me imagine it. These are... This is really like a... Are we building them a mansion or what are we doing? Is this a good spot? Yeah. I, I actually like it. We had to get rid of a pear tree, unfortunately. But, you know, whatever. It happens. I picked a spot for plot one. My phone is ringing. Hello? That you, Avery? Yes. Yes. This is Tom Nook. How goes your search for housing land? I've got some ideas. Stupendous. I'm relieved to hear that. Everything is going according to plan. Be sure to check the box in front of the plot for each home. It'll show the items required for that plot. Interior items should be placed in the box while exterior items should be placed outside around the plot. We want to make it look nice and decorative now, hmm? Once you've set up the plots for all three homes and place the, requ the required items, come and report back to me. I'll be waiting in the resident services. Thanks again for your help. Okay, so what does this need? To all construction helpers, please check the nearby box for info for info on the items needed for this plot. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Check in interior items. Pair wardrobe, pair bed, pot. Okay. I don't have anything to turn in. Check exterior items. Stone stool, stone table, clothesline. Check procedures. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, okay, cool. So the exterior items are going to be placed on the land. The interior... Okay, cool. By the way, I should... Um, let me not put any houses over here for right now. I just realized that because there's... Hopefully the neighbor has a vaulting tool. I didn't really realize that. The more I think about it when I first thought about this. Um... Let's see. All right, let's put one here. Should I set this area aside as plot two? Let me imagine it. I feel like we're gonna get rid of no another pear tree. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Oh well. Yes. All right, so that's number two. I picked a spot for plot two. My phone is ringing. What now? Er, Avery. It's me again. Sorry for the repeated calls. I forgot to tell you something important. You see, you need to get a wreath made from flowers. A wreath, so excuse me, not a wreath, a wreath made from flowers. There are plenty of pretty flowers going up on the cliffs of the island, so toodle up there if you need to. I've already sent you a recipe for a ladder. It's the ideal tool for when you need to scale those cliffs. Anywho, keep, me up, keep up the good work, hmm? Okay, so good news is, is that we are going to make a ladder. I'm excited for that. Let me head over here to look for the rest of the spots to, to dig up. No, we are not going to do any more construction. Probably in this video. Like, we're not going to decide where to put a house at. Definitely not over here. Because, yeah, I, yeah, I probably shouldn't have put a house there, but whatever. I'm just trying to think long term here. Alrighty. Alright, cool. Let's we're chopping down a tree. To get some more wood. Because I think I need a couple more to build the ladder. Alright, let's uh yeah, let's chop down one more for just for good measures. Nope, 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 nope. And nope, not that one. Yes! Got him! Yes! I caught a wasp, that's gotta stain. Dude, heck yes. Um, ah, let's chop down one more. Let's get rid of this tree here. No, did it not get me three pieces of wood? Okay, that kind of sucks. I should be good now for a ladder. So let me switch over to the vaulting pole. Let's head back over, make the ladder, and then let's go explore, explore, explore the top of the cliffs up there. And then that should be it 
for this for today we've actually done quite a bit i was honestly just planning on just going fishing and catching fish and bugs and that'd be it but no this is a lot better in my opinion for what we're doing all right let's do it just enough wood Cool. All right. So, um, ladder is built. Oh, wait, you know, sorry. I keep thinking the bridge is dumb, but it's not. All right. So ladder is built and that means we can, we can go up here to go explore. It was that, it was that simple. Was, is this a bee? Yeah, this is a bee. Yes, I caught a honeybee. Ah, sweet success. Oh man, the, these puns, they're great. They're phenomenal. Cool. Ah oh, man, so much, it's so like, so peaceful up here. And we can even explore the top part of this cliff. Like the very, very, very top. Let's do that. All right. Um, yeah, we have two spots left. Is there no uh, gyroids either? Are you serious? Are you kidding me? <sighs> so even like these... Okay, alright. That kind of disappoints me a little bit. That even those type of tools can even break. So clumps of weeds. Oh, okay, that's dumb because I won't get that much bells from them hit rocks okay I could have but I don't have a shovel don't bugs don't bug me you can earn miles for filling out your critterpedia can you find every bug and unlock every entry yes yes you can and please do consider supporting blathers by donating bugs to the museum cool all right um have a nice DIY. Nook Inc. will award Nook Miles for the number of DIY recipes you've collected. Think about that. You're earning for learning. Yes, yes. Dang, let's go. Cool. Um, Yeah, I don't really know what else to do. Cause I can't really do anything because my shovel broke. So, and I know there's one more area to dig. So yeah, this is pretty much the top of the cliff. Oh yeah, yeah, while we're at it. um, Should we put a house up here? I oh, might as well, why not? Let's put a house up here. We have to get rid of some of these trees, but let's do it, why not? I'm too close to a cliff. I need more room. Okay, here is plenty of room. Should I set this area aside as plot three? Let me imagine it. Yes, let's do it. Is this a good spot? Okay. I picked a spot for plot three and I just realized I should probably make some stairs, but whatever. Oh, really? No phone call. Excellent. Uh, hopefully our uh, neighbors can find a way down here. So yeah, anyway, in the next episode, we are, sorry, in the next day, next video, we are going to get a better shovel and we are going to kind of get more supplies and materials for these houses to get more neighbors in here. I'm kind of hoping that this doesn't happen each and every single time we get a new neighbor. So yeah, until then, see you guys tomorrow.